Hi, my name is Kristen and welcome to Milk Copay Educations. If you haven't watched our videos um, beforehand, please click the link below. I talked about what I used to study, how I passed, and I went over different practice tests um, of the PTCB exam. So in this new series, I will be discussing certain topics you will need to know in order to pass the PTCB exam or the Pharmacy Technician Board Certification Board exam. So let's get started. Hi and welcome to the lesson number two for the PTCB exam themes. Today I will be talking about ratios and proportions. So what is a ratio? A ratio is a numerical comparison between two values. This is shown as using a divide sign, so A divided by B, A colon B, or A to B. The ratios are similar to fractions because the whole term can change if you multiply or divide the whole unit. So you can only multiply and divide A and B as a whole. So an example is that one half is the same value as one fourth. What is a proportion? So a proportion is when two ratios are equal to each other. So this can be shown as A divided by B equals C divided by D. A colon B equals C colon D. A multiplied by B or er, multiplied by D equals B multiplied by C. So as you can see right here in my um, my handwriting. So if you do the cross multiplication of A divided by B equals C divided by D, it equals the same thing. So um, whenever you have a problem, you will need to have one or two sets of units and also there needs to be three or four known variables. So are you ready for a quiz? Go ahead and review the information before if you are confused, but let's get into those practice problems. Problem number one. Why petroleum costs $8.55 for fi 500 grams? How much will 2,800 uh, 2, grams cost? Go ahead and take some time to practice this problem. Hit play once you have your answer. So did you get um, $47.88? I have two forms of how I got to the answer. So let's start with the short side of it, um, which is over to the left. So as you can see, I set up a, propor a proportion on the numerator or the top. I put the amount in dollars on the denominator or the bottom of the divide sign, I put the grams. So putting in what I know, so right here, I put all my known values all my known values here. So $8.55 divided by 500 grams. And as you can see, we only have three variables shown and two units. So on the other side, I have the unknown amount of dollars divided by the number of grams that you want the proportion to be in. So doing cross multiplication, $8.55 multiplied by um, 2,800, uh, 2,800 grams on one side, and on the other side you have 500 times X, and that is how I got this answer, $47.88. So looking at the long side of it, if you um, forget how to do cross multiplication or actual multiplication, you want to isolate the X on one side. So here I showed up the long, um, the other steps that you need to get to the answer. So Taking x to the other side, you want to divide it, so $8.55 multiplied by 2,800 grams divided by 5, 500 grams. As you can see, the units down here cancel out, so then you're left with a dollar sign, and your answer is still going to be $47.88. Problem number two. A drug is labeled as 100 milligrams and 2 milliliters. How much milliliters is required if a patient is to receive 130 milligrams? Go ahead and pause, take some time to answer this, pro uh, this problem, and then click play once you have your answer. So did you get um, 2.6 milliliters? 
So in order to get this again, you have you're given two units. You're given milligrams and milliliters. So I kept the milligrams on the top and the milliliters on the bottom. Putting in what I know and what is given, I have 100 milligrams divided by 2 milliliters equals to what is given, which is the 130 milligrams over my unknown value. Doing cross multiplication again, you're going to multiply x times 100 equals 2 times 130, and your answer will be 2.6 milliliters. Problem number three, a syrup is prescribed that contains 30 milligrams of drugs in 5 milliliters. If a patient takes 5 milliliters for a week, how many milligrams of the drug is the patient receiving in the week? This is kind of complicated. Make sure to read this question a couple times to make sure you hit all the necessary information and click play once you have your answer. Did you get 210 milligrams per week? So on the left here, I have uh, a little summary of what is given. So you know that you have a prescription that contains 30 mg's of drug per 5 mLs. Then you know that the patient is taking 5 milliliters per day. So if you do the math, 5 times 7, because there's 7 days in a week and you want it in weeks, you'll get 35 mLs per week. Taking the proportion of the, the syrup, so 30 mg's divided by 5 mLs, you can do cross multiplication, so I put um, how much is needed, so 35 mLs divided by weeks. So if you do cross, if you multiply the top, multiply the bottom, you can see that the units for milliliters cancel out. So then you're left with mg per week, and then multiplying 30 times 35 divided by 5, you'll get um, 210. Again, thank you for watching this video. Email us at nocopaytutorials at gmail.com if you have any questions, or you can comment below on the topic, or if you have any questions. So the information from this video we're taking from different websites and from my personal notes. If you would like more practice, go ahead and check out the links I have provided on the slide, and good luck studying. Bye.